In the introduction, you'll become familiar with the conflict of aims that exists for an engine control system. And you will learn which parameters enable an optimum solution to be achieved. You'll be given a short introduction on the relationship between the central and the peripheral systems. And you'll be given an overview of the peripheral components. In the chapter on the injection system, you will learn the physical basics of mixture formation. You'll understand the lambda-air-fuel ratio values and will be able to define what is meant by a lean and rich mixture. You will learn how the mixture is regulated in specific operating conditions and about the effect that the catalytic converter and lambda control have on mixture formation. The other peripheral systems that you'll become familiar with are exhaust gas recirculation, which reduces emissions and fuel consumption, and regeneration of fuel that has evaporated from the tank, which reduces the amount of pollutants emitted by a vehicle. In the chapter on the ignition system, you will learn how the spark is generated, what the ignition procedure is, and how ignition timing is regulated. You will learn how the anti-knock control system enables ignition to be timed to achieve maximum combustion pressure. And you will become familiar with the principle of MAP-controlled ignition timing. In the concluding exercise, you'll be able to optimize the ignition timing with respect to the entire system.